from Ferrari, Charles Leclerc and Carlos Sainz. Gentlemen, lovely to have you back. Lovely to have you back here in Melbourne. When you look out here, what does it mean for you to be here and amongst plenty of Ferrari fans? Don't worry about that in Melbourne. Uh, you just need to see the noise that they make, you know, and, and the way that they welcome us is, is, is something very special, especially this year being part of Ferrari and there's that extra bit of connection, I think, and, uh, and it's nice to, to see and, and good to be back. Michelle, for you, fantastic. Melbourne, you're looking forward to it. Yeah, it feels amazing to be back after two years. I, I missed uh, being here in, in Melbourne and uh, you, you can see that uh, all of you guys missed it too. Uh, and it's, it's great also to be back with a, with a car that is capable of winning and, uh, and yeah, we'll hopefully make the best out of it. How important is that not only for the sport, for F1, but for Ferrari to be at the pointy end of the grid, the pointy end of the podium? Well done. What does it do for the two of you to, to know that, you know, come tomorrow, every chance, a lot of people are picking the two of you to be on the podium somewhere. What does that mean for both of you? It means a lot, uh, especially after the last two years, because the last two years have been extremely difficult for, for the team, for us, the drivers too. Obviously, after 2019, it was a... A very good season for myself and the team and, and then 2020 and 2021 was much more difficult but we worked extremely hard and I think in the best way possible and now to see that all the works that we've done ha is, is finally paying off it feels uh, it feels amazing so uh, now that we're here we need to stay here and uh, and we'll give our best yeah it just feels different and it feels great you know because I've been in F1 for eight years now, and it's the first year that I get to drive a car that uh, I'm going to go out there tomorrow, today and tomorrow and try to fight for pole position and win. And it's, it's, uh, it's something uh, special, especially if the car that you're driving is a Ferrari, you know, and, uh, and it just makes you proud of all the work that everyone has done in the last couple of years to, to put ourselves back in the fight and to try and make the Tifosi proud. You certainly have got it going very fast. The fastest lap times, obviously, now down at 119s. Uh, Michael Schumacher had it previously, but it's obviously been relayed. There's been some corners taken out. What are your thoughts on the new Albert Park track? I think the track is very different. I mean, it's, it's been a, a very big change in philosophy of the track. Uh, there's two or three corners that have really changed the, the approach that you need to take and the way you, you drive them. But the, the biggest change for me actually has been the tarmac, the resurface. This has made the, the cars have a bit more grip. The, the tarmac is giving you more grip, but it's giving it to you in a bit of a strange way because it's, it's actually quite on the edge out there. And uh, we're having to fight the car, we're having to fight the, the balance, and it's actually quite exciting because everything moves around quite a lot. Michelle, for you? Yeah, well, I mean, uh, Carlos said it all. Um, it's a much faster track, uh, much more challenging, especially turn six, seven now is mm. very on the limit. Uh, and I think it should be great for racing also. Now we have four DRS zones, so uh, you'll have to race in, a, in, in, in the most clever way because it can make a difference here. As we've seen in the first two races, there were some tactics with, uh, with Max and myself with the, the DRS and I expect it to be uh, more or less the same here, if, if not uh, more. So strategy becomes very, very important, doesn't it? And obviously everyone's getting to learn the new track. The muscle memory has to change a little bit. Things aren't as natural until you actually get a few more laps under your belt now. So it has changed for you, yes? Yes, it did. I, um, I believe that already after FP1 and FP2, most of us has uh, already uh, remember the, 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 the muscle memory of yesterday and we won't have any problems. But now it's all about... I mean, at the end, it's still a street circuit. The, the, the walls are still quite close. So it's all about building up to that last Q3 lap. Um, and then in qualifying, we'll go for it and, um, yeah, and, and just uh, go 100%. I know the Australian Tafosi Tuf wanted to ask you uh, a couple of questions as well. Where's Ruby with the microphone? Who have we got, Ruby? Uh, there's a young lady just over there. That's it. <laughs> Okay, I need your name, please. Slow down, you need to breathe. Yes. I know they're up here and it's fantastic. Your name and your question, please. Okay, um, 
Hi, my name is Hazel. Um, I've got a question for the both of you. So for Charles, I just wanted to know, since you've been racing Max since you've been a kid, do you feel like that gives you an advantage more coming into the season, knowing that you've got, um, you know, his, you know, like his driving styles from like a younger age? And then for Carlos, uh, I just wanted to know, how is your singing lessons going? You're still smooth operator. <laughs> I didn't get that. How is, how is the singing lessons going? Was singing, the... lessons. <laughs> singing lessons. Singing lessons. Sh- Charles can tell you that uh, I'm, I'm terrible at the singing, as you guys <laughs> could hear on the radio, and it's not my biggest talent, but this, that doesn't stop me from still trying and being a frustrated singer. <laughs> <laughs> You never sang with me. I mean, I, I want to hear a song. Shall, shall you sing now? <laughs> I only sing in the shower. <laughs> oh, I won't come with, on the, in the shower with you just to hear you sing. Um, yeah. Um, I mean, yeah, of course, Max, I know him since, uh, since a very long time. But I think um, as drivers, the best thing that we can do is to surprise the other, the other driver every time you are in a fight and, and just do things that he doesn't expect. So I know Max, I know he's aggressive. I know I can be very aggressive too. And he knows that. And then you adapt drivers uh, racing with, with one driver or the other. Um, so yeah, it helps a little bit to know the driver, but at the end, yeah. Whenever you do something unexpected, uh, then you don't know that driver anymore and it, it doesn't help that much. So uh, yeah. We're looking forward to some great racing, though, no doubt. Ruby, I think there might be a man just behind you was there wanting to ask a question. There was a Ferrari flag up. Oh, no, I don't have a question. Don't have a question. You're just waving. For... Okay, down the... Uh, yep, whichever way you'd like to go. Ruby, you're out there in the middle of it, so... Um, I've got a question for Signs. Okay, um, what's your name, please? Charles. Charles. Okay. <laughs> All right. So a question for Carlos. Uh, um, do you think it was easier to work as a teammate for Charles or Lando? I'm going to be very honest on this one. They're both shit. (laughs) (laughs) Thank you for your question, Charles. Okay, we might have uh, one more. Yes, over the back corner there, uh, Ruby. Your name, please, and your question. Uh, My name's Uma. Charles, how are you so beautiful? How are you so hot? What is the secret? Can we, can we leave it on? Because sometimes yeah. we want to speak and nobody can hear us. So go leave ahead. It on, leave it on. Yeah. It was a joke. They are both good. <laughs> <laughs> but it's okay. You will have felt bad for the rest of the <laughs> weekend really saying this. <laughs> I was like, you don't deserve that. One last question. Quickly, what was it? I was just asking Charles, how are you so beautiful? What is the secret to your beauty, Charles? How are you so hot? Thanks to my parents, I guess. Uh, I mean, I don't know. You can ask my mum what is the secret. I, I don't know. I don't do anything, anything special. Um, he does, he does. <laughs> he, he puts some extra hours in the bathroom in the some morning. Some cream yeah, in the morning. You know, the hair. He likes his. All right, you've you've got the answer. (laughs) Ladies and gentlemen, they have been really good with their time. We know they've got qualifying as well. Please give the Ferrari boys, Carlos Sainz and Charles Leclerc, a big round of applause and wave in the background.